Hello, um, it's the studio rented again. Um, this, uh, I guess, first I should introduce myself for for whomever already don't know me. Um, I've been doing three D now. I think. Uh, since uh, 1997, 1995-ish, that's when I actually met with 3D uh, and VFX uh, on a uh, MS-DOS uh, 3D Studio Release 4. And um, since then I've been like uh, just doing as a hobbyist early years uh, and then uh, mid-2000s, uh, mid uh, uh, commercial work, some freelance work. And for the last 11 years, uh, I've been working in the studios. <clears throat> Um, right now, I work at MPC Montreal as a, a CG supervisor. Before that, I was the FX lead, and before that, I was a senior FX artist. Um, so, and I saw that there was a, a missing um, uh, a lack of tutorial that I, I like to, uh, as I've been, as as my tutorials are uh, named, studio oriented. Um, <clears throat> there was a lot of individual bits and pieces everywhere available, but then I said, okay, we need to make one tutorial, let's say, that's just going to tell the whole story, how a shot is composed. So then I uh, created my first tutorial, which was production oriented. Um, so it just takes an empty uh, Houdini scene and then it just lets you build a... a yes. Shots like this from scratch. Um, <clears throat> it teaches you particles, volumetrics, uh, rigid bodies, uh, pyro, solid solver, etc. And then just like, because it's a, such a big scene and like five, six cameras, it also teaches you how to work uh, in a nice uh, flow, pretty much like a, a pipeline, almost a home pipeline. Uh, there's a lot of Python involved as well. It's, it's uh, quite useful uh, if you want to get into Houdini. It's uh, it, it's uh, I it, like after this tutorial, I got very good feedback. I was like everybody was cool, super happy. So I said, okay, I'm gonna make another one. Then I made another one, which is called Masters of the Sea. This one um, is using the exact same workflow, although it's more water oriented. There's no pyro here. Well, there is pyro with mist and stuff, but there's no explosions. There is a nice, cool water scene that we uh, generate. And as you guys see here, it, there's a vellum as well. Um, so, but it again uses my daily, uh, <clears throat> like I, I, I go through the scene in a way that is if I'm working in a studio. So it really helps for, or for people who want to get into this. Uh, uh, in the industry, it's it can you kind of get a little bit of an understanding of how a shot is built and uh, and how to then use this workflow to output let's say twenty shots, thirty shots. That's really helpful. And then finally, I said, okay, enough FFX. Uh, we're gonna go now and make uh, some procedural workflow. So then finally, uh, uh, here I, here I am with Elite Fallen. Um, <clears throat> I guess now it's a good time to uh, do a little bit of uh, explanation what we will be building, how we will be building. Well, so we're gonna start from an empty Houdini scene and then we will end up with this scene. Um, we're gonna first create an environment and in the environment it will be terrain and the city and then we're gonna scatter these buildings to the city and then start doing look devs uh, on those buildings and based on how strong our computer, we're gonna choose uh, maybe 10 instances, maybe 20 instances, however uh, we prefer, and then we're gonna bake the textures because I tried rendering the city um, without baking it. It just takes forever. So we're just gonna bake the interior lighting. Uh, as you guys can see here, I'm just gonna bring it here yeah this is uh, it does take time to render otherwise so we're gonna optimize it so it's a very good practice to learn how to optimize shots how to make it renderable um, vice versa um, and then finally we are after we have our city um, we will start creating a little uh, traffic simulation um, 
using uh, I'm on manual right okay so uh, I have some assets that I'm sharing that pre I modeled previously that these are like some old assets that I had uh, uh, in my library forever like really uh, low res car models I guess I can load them here stashed as well no, I guess they're not stashed let's see okay so like really simple models but they are something um, they were living in my hard disk I think for five six years and now finally they have a purpose um, after we do the look dev oh it's loading now then we will like uh, I think I should load my environment as well uh, where is it Let it cook for a sec. Okay, so then um, we will uh, scatter our city. Right now, I think it's I'm using only like ten or eight instances. I have actually like fifty unique buildings. Um, it it's just a matter of how big you want it to be. Um, so after we build our city, we're gonna animate this ship. which is also one of my older uh, modeling practice, coming from modeling practices. Um, we're gonna do the look down on it as well, uh, with Redshift, with Mantra, uh, it's it's completely up to you. It's uh, the same principles apply. The rendering of this tutorial, the rendering part of this tutorial is actually not that big part. It's, I mean, I, I, I have Renderman 22 as well, the uh, evaluation. I suggest trying that next time I will be probably using Renderman um, or Redshift, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Um, so then we will do our ship look dev. And there's one thing you guys haven't seen uh, because it never made it to the video was that I have another, actually I'm going to bring it from here, it should be my gallery. Uh, this guy, so I did have a model of a robot. Oh, sorry, uh, where is it? Yeah. Should be another one, maybe not. And that was some really old model as well. So we're gonna put a pilot in our ship, which we didn't have before. I did start on it, but I never get the chance. So here is my pilot. We're gonna put him inside. And then I think there was a camera that looks towards him and I was shaking him, so it was pretty cool. Um, gonna turn off the so it's a bit faster feedback yes and then um, we are going to uh, use a gamepad or keyboard or mouse as you prefer I am using the steam controller um, using chops we're gonna record this animation and then when we have the recorded track we're gonna delay it a bit to apply to a second ship and then add a bit noise using chops and then we're gonna add another one to make our follow-up camera so it kind of like goes like this I turn this guy on turn this guy on I'm gonna turn off these it's not too fast okay and then we're kind of gonna have a nice cool if let's bring in the city <coughs> okay let's bring in the terrain as well okay so by just recording uh, like I don't know 60 second of a clip um, we can just uh, create a nice simulation that just our ships are oh it's, it's not the end of it sorry this is how it begins it's like we, I recorded I think a thousand frames and that was extremely uh, cool because it, I, you can fly in your own the city that is fake but it's it's really nice it, it, it was like okay this is working and uh, after all, it it took a while to get used to the steam controller but um it does work well and so basically after that we're gonna create a little automated firing system and the way it goes is gonna be uh, where is this yes guns so we kind of like create a um a visor and then 
when the visor is it's I think here you can see it so this is these are the guns of the ship and then when it's in when the target is inside these areas it starts producing a uh, Basically, the ship starts fire, he, firing because there's a target. Uh, target is in range or the a visor, and then um, we'll then we'll kick off using this. We're gonna generate the impacts on the land, and then we're gonna do some pirate simulations on them. And then finally, we have some automated missile systems as well. And then in the end, so if I go back to the video. Like. This is this is the automated firing and automated impacts, and some of the, some more of those hitting the buildings. If they miss a little bit more custom, but a, a nice uh, missile system as well. And finally, we're gonna crash our ship, the one in front, into this public transport with Shane. Luckily, it's empty, and we're gonna rip it apart using solid solver. And um, and then we're gonna conclude our tutorial. So um, it's not a thing to be intimidated about. We're gonna go step by step. I still gotta. This is like our render network. It's quite a lot of modes, but uh, I did end up optimizing it. Trust me, this is like the optimized version. Um, but that's obviously because there is how many shots was it? That's starts from 1000 to yeah so this was like uh, uh, 14 shots but I, I, I think I boiled it down to uh, 12 13 um, obviously it's a lot less work but repetitive and tedious because you know I wanted to make a cut which is a bit more interesting than just making a tutorial and just a robot exploding uh, this is not just a um, how to make an amazing pirate sim, but it's, this is like a Houdini tutorial pretty much. So you just learn Houdini follow this, uh, by following this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to stop the first video. That was the introduction. And in the next one, we will start um, generating our terrain. And then we'll start our city. So thank you for watching.